Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to look into two functions, which is above and below. So these are two uh, functions used in the front end and front end only. So I have a table here, and now I'm going to first start with the above. So I'm just going to write in above, and then I'm just going to specify the name of the column. So if you want to just reuse the expression or anything and any value available in your previous column, then you can just specify that. Let's say column and then you write the column number. So my column number is one. So if you have two measures or three measures, you can apply that. So as you can see, I have uh, applied column one which is sum of sales it is going to give me sum of sales and as the one doesn't has anything above it so it is giving me a null value what i can do is i can apply the logic of uh, alt i can just add above like this and just say zero if it is null then obviously it will start giving me a zero value so this makes uttermost sense or you can just add the same value also but above function is actually used with the range sum above so i will talk about the range sum above to get the cumulative value but let's see about the below so what does below does is so i can just keep that same expression i will duplicate it over here i will just say below now it will start taking the below value so it is 13 so it is going to give 13 and as it goes down the last value doesn't has anything below that which is the 13th 13th month which actually does not exist so it is giving you a zero because of the alt so this is how above and below works so let's come to the use case so use cases how you can use above to get a cumulative value to get a cumulative value there is a function called as a range sum okay range sum and in that range sum first the option is to add the expression so my expression is technically fixed which is above column one so I'm just going to add in the function above column one and when you actually do that you are again going to get the same values as above okay now as you can see alt function isn't used because when you are going to do a sum of null it is going to give you a zero value that is why but range sum to get the cumulative you can actually do need to add some parameters so parameter will be comma zero so let's see what happens when you write in comma zero nothing really happens because you are taking the same iter number same same number and now i will just add the row number here okay row number function like this and now as you can see now it is doing a cumulative okay now 12 1 okay then it is going 14 then it is going adding one again 15 16 17 18 19 20 like that okay so this is a cumulative so to understand this let's first understand what range sum does so if i just take a text box and in measure i just write in range sum and I just add 22 comma 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so what range sum is going to do is it is going to add all these values together and it will give you a number in this same way what we are doing is we want the above value then we want the above value then we want the above value like that and it should go on okay so instead of so let's fix this okay to fix this we need to break this 
so over here I will just add 0 and I need to add total and total into my row number so row number total will technically generate a SR number serial number for you so let's add in like this so it is giving you 1 2 3 4 till 12 this is absolutely fine and now okay over to here I say above and now I have the range sum of that so this works in such a way that the row number total will now start totaling all the values